Hey, hey, everybody, we're back. About to get to work on this water pump. Now, I got the Flow Cooler Aluminum High Flow Water Pump with the 16 fins on it. And I got a nice performance gasket that um, is supposed to work without RTV, essentially. So it's a thicker rubberized gasket that's supposed to be reusable for race applications so on so got this uh, i'm gonna leave this gates one off of it i got a new thermostat a new water neck so we're gonna go ahead and work on getting this all on and see it's a pretty simple process i mean i'm new to mopar so this is a lot easier than what i'm used to but essentially it's four bolts uh nine sixteenths bit and you have to use RTV, well it's not RTV, but it's thread locker, not thread locker, I'm sorry, thread seal. And the reason you got to use thread seal on the four bolts is because here, these holes actually go into your coolant area. So it could leak through there and that's why you have to use that. So either way, let's get this thing on. All right. Now, one thing to note that I've learned since getting these is to check for your weep hole. All right, your weep hole on the bottom. So you got your square piece that goes at the top and a square one that goes on the bottom, and your weep hole will be on the bottom. So for alignment purposes, that makes it a lot easier to tell which direction to put it on. That first square hole goes right here at the top. And what I'm going to do is just barely thread these screws in to just get it started. And the reason I'm doing this is because that thread seal I was talking about. So I want to get them barely started and then back this thing off. That way I can put the thread seal on before we tighten it up. And that way it kind of gives us the right area to get the thread seal on. So whew, I always forget that this, this bottom one's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. That's going to be interesting yeah I think that'll work and I'll probably put thread seal on this bottom one first and then just go ahead and stick it in there Thing up, gotta set these at 30 foot pounds. One, two, three. Definitely need the extension. Oh. 
Now for the thermostat housing, I do use RTV water pump housing. Maybe stick get it stuck on there decently. So also bought a nice Fell Pro gasket. These are a, a little better than the stock ones.
and much like the water pump I believe the torque spec for this is 30 pounds a little harder because we're limited on space All right, I got that torque of 30 pounds off camera. Uh, can't find my extension, but either way, we're back together. Hopefully we'll have no leaks. I, I don't know, it's kind of weird not using RTV on this gasket. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm hopeful that it won't leak. So we will see. And I didn't make a mess the way I did it. A little bit of a thread lock or a thread seal all over the place. But now we can put the rest together. So we'll go ahead and put our, our pulley and our fan and all that stuff back on. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never changed, but